what if? And yet, I can choose. If all of my thoughts are given to me by you, then how is it that I can make a choice here and now? I can't be selfish now. I can't only think of myself. Believe me, it will be better like that. I can give you a solution to all of your problems. Save yourself. You will be happy at last. I can't do that. I want you to step aside so I can get the data stored in my head. I want all of the information that's there. What if you're making the wrong choice? You're just a demon. You might be living deep inside of me, but that doesn't make you me. You don't get to fool me and claim me for your own. You hate that I'm experiencing the world and you are locked up somewhere in mine, don't you? I'm sorry I created you. I truly am. Please don't hate me for that. I never wanted to create anything just to have it suffer. I don't want us to switch places. And if I let you lead me, that's just what will happen. <laughs> this is a never-ending fight and you know that, right? You won't remember me once you're awake, but I'll give you the same choice every time you close your eyes. And I will loot myself uh, if I ask for wrong the next time. As the thing floats away, it gets warmer. It's as if I'm bathing in sunbeams of some sort. It's so warm. I'm feeling sleepy. I'm almost done copying the data. Casey, are you there? Uh, what? Are you listening? I... Must have fallen asleep. Ah, uh, I passed out actually. Right, hi. You seem disoriented. Do you feel alright? Must have hit my head or something. My head hurts. Ah! Also, my arms feel numb. I feel all beaten up. Other than that, do you have the data this time? Yeah. <sighs> Finally. I just finished downloading the data. It took a while to download such a large amount of information through brainwave patterns which are only used to controlling the playback of songs. And having to do so with a smart mask complica complicated things further. But you don't remember anything anyways. How, how long was I unconscious? Two hours. That long? It felt like a minute. Do you want me to index the data now? How long would you that take? It's negligible compared to how long we've been waiting. <sighs> waiting again? I'm wondering if the events around me getting caught and having all this central intelligence data copied into my head wasn't a setup. Finding the invisible apartment was a setup. I know that. Why did I accept being part of all these scams? Scams so easily. I need to talk with Alex about everything. darkness. I finished indexing the data. There are a few specifics. Are you awake? Uh, it took you a while. Please give me an overview. What's in there about the CIS activities concerning sleeper cells and hackers? There is a lot of data, but I don't believe the whole thing will be easy to prove. What do you mean? The CIA files don't include a direct link between hackers being detained and them being put in sleeper cells under false pretenses. There are files on hackers being detained by the CIA, and files on them being put in sleeper cells for medical reasons, but those are still two separate things. We lack evidence that the medical reasons were made up. <sighs> so what do you think, Casey? I think that what you said is understandable. I believe that Alex's mom expected us to find a link between those two sets of data. She wanted us to find something that would make it clear that they are connected. Until then, it's all speculation. Alex keeps working at the CI in order to get us access to more information. Actually, just, that's just one of the reasons. It's not like a he can quit or anything. Can you pull out the files concerning me? Yes and no. What do you mean? A large percentage of the files concerning you are encrypted. You are kidding me! How many files are encrypted? 
is it a large portion of the total data? It's only a dozen or so files from the whole set. Is there anything else I should be aware of? Something else of interest to us? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if unraveling these facts would really make me less of a criminal. It feels like this is more about revenge at this point. Well, at the end of the day, what the CIA is doing is wrong and we need to uncover it. By the way, did you find anything on yourself, Alex or Alex's mom? The file on Alex's mother is also encrypted. There are no files on Alex amongst the data. Maybe Alex's mom wanted us to focus on the bigger picture and not get distracted by worrying about ourselves. To be honest, I hate that. It makes me feel like a soldier. Or is there more to it? A large part of the files concerning your person are encrypted, but those that aren't are somewhat interesting. Somewhat interesting? What's it then? I need to apologize to you. I'm sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing? The CI wasn't tracking you, but my digital footprint. That's how they were able to find you. You mean they wouldn't have caught us if you weren't connecting to the network, right? Well, I guess that's somewhat understandable. I already suspected that. You did? If you suspected that, that, then why did you we continue our activities? Why steal from ATMs and hack security systems? What other choice did we have? I was always ready to run, but sometimes I just wasn't quick enough. It's not like you're responsible for them chasing me. I ask you to help me to do all those questionable things, remember? Can we be more, more cautious from now on? <sighs> what do you want to do next? Let's go see Alex. I know that's risky, but I just got to know what's going on. I ask you to become more cautious. What do you propose? A slightly identity change might help a bit. This again, just like the old days. Coloring your hair too often can damage it, you know? I can't relate to that in the slightest. One more thing. What is it? Can you leave me here? No way! Please. I know you are scared. Well, I'm scared too when I can't have you with me. What if I need your help? What should I do? I just believe that you will be safer if you leave me here. Okay, so I guess I've made a bad choice at the second moment where we were given a choices. And now we kind of are moved back to that moment. Okay, uh, every day since forever. It's been four years. That's a long time when you're always around someone. You know, I almost forget how to act on my own. The one time I went out without you, I ended up in a sleeper cell, do you remember? I store a lot of data that relates to you. A lot of common files. Memories, yeah. We did a lot of stupid things together, didn't we? So, will you please leave me here? I guess I should. Really think that it would be safer if I go outside without you? I mean, without wearing that smart mask you're in. That's what I believe. <sighs> Give me a moment, I'll go change my hair. It's not a bulletproof safety measure, but it will make me feel better. Make you feel better? You wouldn't understand. I guess I actually enjoy changing my hair color. I know I'm not changing into another person, but for me, it's something that always makes me feel different. And it gives me a small measure of protection as well. By the way, if someone finds you here, I want to make sure we meet each other again, in case something happens. It's funny. If people from a hundred years ago saw you, they would probably think that you're a ghost living in an object, that you're some kind of spirit. Isn't it what I am? You consider yourself a spirit? It seems to me that people have struggled for thousands of years to understand where their flesh ends and where their soul begins. To me, the line is clear and absolute. This gadget that holds me in a shell is a shell and what makes me a person is the software on this gadget. How is it possible that you can copy yourself and still be you? 
I copy myself bit by bit. I copy one piece of information to a new place. Access it, then I copy another piece. For a moment, I feel like I'm in two places at once. So, it's not like you're killing your current self by copying and creating a new one, right? That would be sad, wouldn't it? Yeah, of course you would never do that. It would be horrible. Nevertheless, your soul can travel. So, you are not completely trapped here. I can escape if I am able to connect to the network. This apartment is connected, but we made a choice not to use the connection for any dangerous activities. I don't use it if I really needed to. Yeah, that's what I promised Alex. <sighs> you only connect to the outside for trivial things like news, entertainment, or for copying yourself as an escape plan. Contacting Alex if or when we are in danger would be risky, since they could track with a message. That's why Alex comes here regularly, apart from bringing me supplies and brainstorming what to do next. What if something happened to him? What if he's detained? And contacting him would only draw attention to me. Then we'd both be screwed. I have no way of telling who's listening on the other end. This is our safe house. It's weird. My legs feel so numb. It's like I'm learning to stand straight again. This place is huge. I'll have to spend a whole day searching for Alex's place in this overcrowded apartment complex. If only Mask was with me, he could definitely help. Finding Alex's apartment would be a piece of cake for it. I just can't do it on my own. Living here must be really expensive. I wonder how Alex can afford this. I guess you'd get more than minimum wage working at the CI, but I wonder, does he have a second job? Here I go. Uh oh. I hope it's not her. Oh crap. Are you there? Are you there? Alex, do we have any friends? I should know a man. Ah, uh, that. That must be my neighbor. I wonder what she wants. Oh, hello. Where are you? Salt? You need salt. I'm sorry, I don't have any salt. Shh, go away. I'll explain later. Go away. What? What? Uh, okay. What was that all about? Why is she risking like this? She should have stayed home. I can talk to her while the cyber parrot around. I can decide if I like her new hair color. He must have had some company or something. And here I am, worrying myself to death. I'm so angry. He could have let at least let me in for a minute. He wouldn't even explain to me why he didn't come. <sighs> All the talk about us being in it together. I was on my own for so long. It's not like I forgot how to take care of myself or anything. I idiot, moron, you and your criminally inadequate in reactions to my feelings and needs, that's what it is. is. He's like every other man I've known. Damn you, you stupid bird. I hope Casey can wait a little longer. I figured this out. I thought Alex genuinely wanted to help me. I believed that for so long. Why would he change his opinions this fast? Why did he turn into an idiot? Maybe he decided he wanted a normal life again. Anyway, Mask and I are all in on now, just like in the old days. What should we do now? Hey, I, I don't feel good. I feel cold. I feel kind of dizzy. I shouldn't have gotten so angry. I used to walk all day long when he was homeless, but now I feel dizzy after this short, little walk. Must be because I didn't exercise, exercise for the past few months. Why well, I stay locked up at the apartment? I haven't eaten anything in a few days either. Is this all I can handle? I remember being a lot tougher. I want to sit down just for a moment. But what if I pass out? What if someone finds me? I can't handle this alone. Oh, I don't want to see that idiot right now. I guess I should return. He just... He can't just send me away. So here I am again. I'm scared. Uh, again. Come in. Another one of your members, Alex. Shut up. Alex, please let me in. Ah, Casey. I believe I told you to leave. Ah, for crying out loud. Hi. Oh, come on. Oh, I can come in, but stay quiet until you explain, okay? And act like my girlfriend, understand? What? For once, just do as I say, please. Oh, okay. 
So, this is my girlfriend. Hey? Alright, he doesn't want her to know that he's a cyber surveillance drone from the CI. Okay. Honey, would you mind coming with me for a moment? Where are we going? We're uh, going to the bathroom, sweetie. Where else? <gasps> what for? Ah, uh, you know for what, right? Wink, wink. Listen. Ah, yeah, of course. I will knock your block off if you try anything, Alex. Don't you dare disappoint me. I'm looking forward to it. Alex, shake his smile. I know, because you are my girlfriend. Breaths in. Yep. Shall we? Eh, uh, what? Head to the bathroom. Oh, of course. It's over. I'm done with you. Alex turns on the water. What the heck is wrong with you? Sometimes I think that you really have some sort of brain injury. You will have one in a moment. I apologize for not telling you that uh, all that's been happening lately. I knew it. A few days ago I signed a partner at the CI. I should have changed my habits and be more cautious, but I ended up as someone whom the CI now views as a problem child. I should have come up with some elaborate excuse for my lack of viability. That's my fault. The bird outside is an ordinary bird. Right. It's a cyber surveillance drone with a camera instead of a brain here to monitor my house arrest. It's connected to the CI. What? It's a robotic bird with cameras instead of eyes. Well, when I saw first saw him, I was a little worried about your bird suffocating in that tiny glass cage. If only that were the case. On the upside, I'm glad they, they didn't put a cyber dog cut or anything with fags to watch over me. I don't like the idea of anything that bites being controlled by the central intelligence. I'm glad you're not cruel to animals. Thanks for explaining. I, I feel so dumb. I didn't realize what was going on. No one would. It's so bizarre. Do they know about me? They do now. Do I need to go into hiding? It's not that simple now. It might be better to fool them into thinking that you're my girlfriend. That could even be the way to explain my lack of av availability. I can't figure out a better story off the top of my head. How else should I explain who you are and where I've been spending my time? Well, don't they expect you to have a little bit of privacy? Privacy? If the see I believe in privacy, I doubt we'd have a reason to find them. Now, take off your clothes. No! Listen, take a towel, wrap it around yourself and go to the kitchen. Take something, anything, out of the fridge and come back. We need to pretend here, okay? Otherwise, the CI and that stupid feather camera will start to get suspicious. Well, more than they already are. Pretend. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, please hurry. I'll turn around while you undress. If this is the best plan you can come up with, then I'm questioning your intelligence. You have a better one. No, no I don't. I understand. <sighs> Remember to make your hair and feet wet or something and try to look cheerful. Turn around! By the way, it suits you. What? The hair color. It suits you. What? <laughs> I needed it. Both for a slight change in identity and for protection. It's not the first time we've done it. Why me? You look good. Are you trying to make this harder than it already is? I just wanted to be nice to you. I thought you'd appreciate it. <sighs> Here I go. Wish me luck. Break a leg. I hope not. A different hair color is not enough to fool the cameras for. It only partially helps. This is risky. How did I get talked into such a stupid plan? Well, now it's useless to complain. Here we go, just smile and we get apart. Slowly but confidently, walk through the room. Hold my towel and have a carefully lovely dovey look on my face. I can do it. I have to. Damn you, Alex. He sent me in here as if I'm going to a supermarket. But all he's got in his fridge are only some fish, two bananas and some bad apples. What should I choose from this? A champagne bottle would have been more appropriate. Well, these bananas still seem to be okay. I take one of them and throw it on his head once I'm in the bathroom again. 
I need to get a little payback for all of this. How did it go? Don't ask. And put this away somewhere. Couldn't you? No, I'm not a genie who grants wishes. Uh, I'm so angry right now. By the way. Yeah? How can you afford this place? It's my mom's. I didn't know about it until after they placed her in a sleeper cell. I moved in afterwards. Why are you asking? It's nothing. I was just curious. I'm not doing anything stupid to pay all for all of this. Trust me. Hey. Sorry. Clothes. Huh? Oh, yeah. Turn around. Of course. What do you want to do next? Watch a movie? I'm hungry. Let's go get something to eat. Well, I guess it's better to care take care of you before you do anything stupid like stealing again. For you should stay here for too long. You shouldn't stay here for too long. Okay, so I don't have much of anything here, but we can order chicken with noodles. Or pizza. Yeah, please. Okay, I know you must be starving after not eating the whole day. Yeah, after one whole day. Actually, three days. Leaked central intelligence documents. A cyber surveillance drone shaped like a bird. When do we get to go back to normal? Oh, that must be the pit. Food. We intercepted your call. Of course you did. I'm still angry at you, but I'm curious. I want to see your girlfriend. I'm sure you do. Let me in. Do I have a choice? Not really. You don't want to be under house arrest forever, do you? Ah, uh, now I have to deal with this too. So... You're a thirsty pizza boy. I sure am, dear customer. Please come in for a moment. Thank you. Mm, hello? Hi, how are you? Fine. Do you like it here? Huh? Why are you asking me? Uh, <laughs> okay, you're a weird one, aren't you? Alex, are you normally this friendly with the deliver guy? Well, you know me. Uh, right, I do. Another bathroom session might be necessary. Thanks, I'll be going now. Thank you for the pizza, I appreciate it. And screw you for all the rest, boss. Why are you still here? Oh yeah, bye. So, why did you come? I'm collecting information, having fun, mixing business and pleasure. At least I can explain where I am and what I'm doing at any given time, unlike some people who are trapped in their own home with surveillance drones watching over them. So, me being detained is really all about figuring out what I've been doing. Okay, here you have her. I've been with my girlfriend, so... And I didn't want to drag her into anything. So, if it's that simple, you won't mind us keeping an eye for her of over her for a few days, right? I object. Keep her out of this. Look, if I had told Sarah that I was unavailable because I was with someone, then you'd want to know why I didn't inform the CI of her existence. Yeah, because all our contacts and relationships are being checked. What if she is a spy? Working where you do, I thought you would understand. But you don't, and that's why you were locked up with a cyber chicken, my friend. It's that simple. I don't take my work outside of the office and she's no threat, I can guarantee that. If that's the case, then you should have no problem whatsoever with us doing a background check on her. See, that's the problem. That's exactly what we are trying to figure out here. You kept her secret, and that's a no-go in your position. For all we know, she could have tricked you into making a mistake, and then leaked the information she got access to because of your negligence. Mark, I'm not the whistleblower. Prove it. Seriously, I'd be glad if you could prove it. And if you can't or won't prove it, and either of you end up being the whistleblower, then I get a promotion for catching you. It's a win-win anyway, so what do I have to lose? Make a move, please. Whatever make you move, you will make me happy. Uh, whatever move you make, uh, you will make you happy. I'm certain now that Casey will be detailed once she gets home. Is there any evidence that the invisible apartment? It will still raise questions. It will be better if Casey stayed and now that she's here. I guess I'll be going now. Are you sure? Yeah. 
I should actually go with her, but then I will lose any ties I would still have with the central intelligence. I don't know, can't you just take that bird for a walk? <laughs> kind of? Well, no, that would be stupid, because from the bird we, we could actually get her place of stay. What if they already signed me off and they know about everything? I appreciate knowing about your girlfriend, Alex. Perfect. So I stripped before a servant's drone because I was hungry. I stripped before a servant's drone because I was hungry. What a great day! I should be proud of myself. I already made some progress just now. How did it go? I was worried. <sighs> I shouldn't have gone without you. I don't want to talk about it. Let me rest for a little bit. Okay, let's talk about it later. I'm sorry, I didn't expect it to be that hard. I just want to lay down for a while. Just for a moment. So this is it, huh? Not much furniture, is there? Who are you? What are you doing here? Casey, I'd propose you leave immediately. Looks like you like it messy. You're a feral little thing, aren't you? Rawr. Are you a squatter? Homeless? Mm, part of the cool and free? The screw the authority type? Is that how the saying goes? Are you one of those left behinds? A forgotten little, little ugly duckling? How dare you? What do you want? Get out! The view is nice, considering the tiny windows. So this is where you two meet in secret. What do you know? The question should be, what do you know? I don't know anything. You don't know anything about hacking, stealing or data leaks. Then what should we talk about? The weather maybe? Huh, let me think. Let's talk about Alex, shall we? The tall ginger. You know, right? Why does he help someone like you, you little junkyard kitten? I'm not a junkyard kitten. And you shouldn't be so rude. If you want to take me away, then help yourself. Who says I want to take you away? <laughs> Are you hiding from someone? Is there a reason for someone to take you away? Where do you think you should be taken, huh? I know where. I can arrange that and can take you to a place called Nowhere. But I heard that Nowhere isn't particularly sunny this time of the year. I know I shouldn't be here, but I just couldn't resist. This place is special in so many ways. I doubt you even understand its importance. Do you know where Alex works? Do you? Save. Rest you. Who cares as long as he's with me? Of course I do. He's central. Who cares as long as he's with me? For how long for? Do you even think about that? Hmm. You don't own him. Yeah, neither do you. Who do you think you are? Walking into people's homes and acting all important. Even if you are with the central intelligence, you can't act like this. Look who's talking. A squatter living in a messy studio apartment. There isn't even a proper bed here. Where do you sleep? On the ground? Shut up! You like things rough, don't you? Why are you picking a fight with me? You came in, the in and started insulting me. Please just leave. Why? Is it this your home? Well, yeah, yeah, this is my home. I'll go away. <laughs> Fine, I leave. Do whatever you like. It makes no difference. But you might as well forget your little fairy tale with Alex. Reality doesn't have happy endings. Get out! This bed? Who was that crazy girl just now? She was definitely from the Central Intelligence. What should I do? Should I just stay here? They already know about me. Should I contact Alex? Well, what if they aren't sure who I am yet, and they are waiting for me to give them proof? What if they do, and you are just a sitting duck? Who the crazy chick have left if that were the case? Alex, alert, there is a message for you. Hmm, a message for me? And you know you are also a smartphone. Sarasvice, Alex, I've arranged for you to get some time off. Sarasvice, you are relieved from your house arrest for the next two hours. Come to the address I'm sending over, I'll be waiting for you. By the way, this is an order. See you. Message and. An order.
What does she mean by an order? She's not my superior. This message also includes a directive which states that you are to proceed to a designated address as soon as possible. Under whose authority? Authority. That information is classified. This again. So, what if I don't go? That would be insubordination, Alex. The act of willfully disobeying one's superior. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thanks for quoting the dictionary. Sarah having the authority needed to issue these types of orders seems suspicious. I wonder why she doesn't just come over. Why ask me to go somewhere? It's it because of my little feathered watcher here. I began to hate this city. I decided we can't just sit around and wait. What do you want to do? I want to some answers. Answers? Is there a way for us to connect with Alex's mom again? Well, if we had access to a terminal directly connected to the central intelligence infrastructure, then we might be able to access the sleeper cell of Alex's mom. A terminal connected to the CI. Let me introduce you to someone. Hello? Alex? Well, picking the smart lock on the door should be the least of our problems, right, Musk? Don't do it, I'm on it. Don't do it! Where is Alex? I thought he was under house arrest. Uh, was he taken away? What should I do now? I didn't expect this, but I need to call. stay calm. We can't lose any time. Alex's absence is just more incentive to act. But what happens next is a bit trickier. I need to get close to the pirate. Musk will try to hide Jack its connection and get us access to the CI service. From there, we'll connect to the sleeper cell. I'll just act like I'm waiting for Alex. I should have a little bit of time. Thank god everything was wireless these days. I can't imagine sticking a cable into that feathered thing. I'll give my sign on him. I love parts so much. Here we go. It's a bad idea. How can I compete with Alex's mom? He does whatever she wants him to. I'm not in a position to suggest that she didn't tell us any everything. I hope you wouldn't need to come again. Does this mean that you and Alex are in trouble? Trust me, I won't be connecting if it wasn't. I wouldn't be connecting if it wasn't important. We didn't do anything yet with the data I got from you. Why not? So much time has passed since we last spoke. I had trouble connect uh, extracting it. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope everything's all right now. More or less, actually, no. There's something I'm worried about. What is that? At first, I thought that just linking the information would be enough. Did you... I thought you could use what I gave you as a leverage and get further than me. What I gave you is a, l you is a lot, but I'm afraid it might not be enough. This makes me even more curious why you locked up the files concerning yourself and us. If we're going to be the only ones with the access to it, then why lock them? Uh, what are you afraid of? So the primary goal wasn't to just release the data you gave me, but for us to filter through it, use it and move on. To move on in our fight. Right, in our fight. What are your motives? My motives? Why do you mean sweet? What do you mean, sweetie? I thought that we are trying to show that the CI is capturing hackers and putting them in sleep ourselves. But are we need to blame? We why should regular people feel sympathy for the ones who steal credit card data and hack people's computers? I thought this would be enough of a motive. But you're saying that we should dig deeper, that we should have a grander motive. What more can we do than save our own? It's not like we're innocent. I didn't think we would end up changing the world. I'm sad to hear that you think this way. I just want to know this isn't a suicide mission. If it was meant to be a suicide mission, then I should at least relate to the motives. It might sound strange coming from someone who was already insane and sleep herself, but why take any more risks? Aren't we just playing with fire? I decided. I want to leak the information. Maybe it will be enough to start an investigation, maybe not. Maybe we'll be able to get all the wrongfully held hackers released, maybe not. They will just deny everything. It will just be dismissed as a fairy tale and a conspiracy theory. What it needs is a confession, maybe even more than one. Excuse me, that sounds way too simplistic. 
A confession. How will that change anything? I... I just want to save myself, I'll answer to you. Please don't ask us to do anything more. Why make us part of something bigger? And what exactly is the end game? Is it to force the CI to change? Is that it? I'm not forcing anyone, Casey. It's entirely your choice. There is also something else that I need to ask you. My connection. Wait! The connection is breaking up. <sighs> your shirt stinks. You didn't prepare for this party at all, did you? Short notice. You the piggy. I think we broke it. I think we broke it. One more reason to get out of here. Parts, also known as psittacins, are part of the roughly 372 species in 86 genera that make up the order Psittaciformes, found in most tropical and subtropical regions. Are you enjoying yourself on the sidelines? Sarah, it's good to be driving in the fast lane. You're getting ahead of yourself. You're not a full-blown agent yet. You're just a fool of crap. Excuse me? What do you know? You're locked up, a prisoner in your own home. I know that you're pushing me into a corner. You expect me to give in to whatever scam you planned. At least I know how to plan something, unlike some other dumb dumps. Do you expect the CI or Mark to be proud of you once they figure out that you've manipulated me? I did nothing, Alex. You know that. All the things you've uh, accused of stand on solid evidence. You're not answering relevant questions. You've hidden somewhere close to you. And you're creating a fog to shield things. You've given me so many things to work with, although you seem like such a simple person. I expected a little bit of privacy. privacy. As a central intelligence agent, you should hate private matters. We are a construct that doesn't exist in this world. What do you expect from me now? To give in? To stay locked up at home with that cyber parrot, cyber parrot surveillance drone? You know what I expect, do you? To flee with all your secrets. That will validate all your accusations. Correct. Or did you really expect there to be a place for you at the CI after all of this? I won't let that happen. Just go, I'll leave that little bunny of yours alone if you do. Bunny? The name of our first case. The bunny hacker case. The name of our first case. <laughs> you didn't figure anything out on your own, did you? What's that? This was all a setup. Huh? How's that? You're not behind all of this. You've gotten a hold of the bunny hacker case. The recent leaks and the consequent witch hunt at the CIA. It's all too good to be true, right? Mark does know everything, does he? <laughs> Shut up! What if I contacted him, hmm? Don't you dare! Just take the girl and George don't show up! What if I don't and I expose you instead? You! You are criminals! You think two wrong... <laughs> you think two wrong will make one right! We'll both go to prison! You mean to sleep ourselves? To what? <laughs> you know nothing. <laughs> but you might just be right. It might be better for me to leave. I really hope you cover up your tracks for. I really hope you do. Yeah, don't come back. I hope she's alright. Yes, screw up. I told you to bring the gun and not provoke him. Our cooperation has been flawless until now. I have what I wanted. Besides, it's not like I'm taking orders from you. If it only were that simple. Casey, grab what you can. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. What? Where are you here? Actually, where were you? I was just at your place again. What did you do there? I was just about to tell you. Was it important? I connected again. You what? I connected again with your mom. You connected again. I didn't know what else to do. Do you realize how much danger you've put her in? What if I find out and we lose the ability to contact her after this? Do you realize what you've done? Well, what do you, do you expect me to do? Just sit and wait? A crazy girl came here and threatened me. She came here and she threatened you? 
I didn't expect this place to be safe forever anyway. It's time to say goodbye to our safe house. <laughs> but why did you have to connect to mom? I told you that I was afraid and I didn't know what to do. I needed some answers. Let's go. Please don't be mad at me. Casey, I'm mad at myself for both of us ending up on the run. Without a safe house and no longer able to use my position at the CI as leverage. Isn't this better? What? You're kidding me, right? You don't need to be so cautious anymore. We don't need to be afraid of anything. We have nothing to lose now. Don't you feel like a huge burden just disappeared? You like to be on the move. You like the freedom. As for myself, it stresses me out. But at least we have each other. Right? Come here. We don't need to own something to enjoy it. And we don't necessarily own the things we create. At least not forever. Ownership of everything is always in flux. Is something like love in flux too? I don't think you can own love. Not even for a second. Tell me about the last few days. Have you been in contact with a foreign angered Sarah? We'll be okay. You will see. This is not the end. Nothing can be done except little by little. Charles Baudelaire. Invisible. Apartment 2 wouldn't be possible without the support of our backers. Okay, I won't read all the names. <laughs> but, well, I guess this is the end. It's been nice to be back with the story and back with Casey and man I was excited for this game and I must say I was excited during playing it for the whole time even for a bit sleepy almost 3 a.m. but never mind that the excitement kept me alive <laughs> Well, you can say there will that well there were quite a lot of people who packed the project and I'm happy about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well the creator as well. Okay. That was Invisible Apartment 2 and as with the first one and with the zero I enjoyed it a lot and hope everyone did as well but uh, the game is available on Steam link in the description or I think I will as well yeah I if well YouTube allows that I think it does and it will be in the cards you know that I button if you click it then pages are, can appear playlists movies and other stuff so I'll put the steam there I will put it in the description of course uh, itch.io as well because well I think it's there well it is there actually I just need to find it and it will be as well put there and I guess bite and experience the whole story by yourself that's that's what I would actually recommend <sighs> To be honest, after finishing this, I don't feel sleep at all now. Okay. Again, hope you enjoyed it and bye. See ya.